Hey, what's going on? This is JC. Welcome to Tech Teachers, where we teach everything tech, from software to equipment, accessories. We do unboxings, reviews, and we teach how to use these products. Let's get into today's video. In this video, we're going to teach you how to run Windows on a Mac. We're going to use the top two best options. The first one is Boot Camp. Boot Camp, you basically create a partition on your Mac so that you can run Windows. But boot camp take up too much space. So right now we're not going to use boot camp. We're going to use the second option, which is called Parallels. Parallels is a virtual machine which take up less space where you can run Windows on your Mac. So the first thing you do is open up your internet browser. Once you got your internet browser up, type in Parallels. Parallels.com. Right now, the newest version is Parallel Desktop 15. We're going to do this from the trial version. So I'm going to download the trial version. You click download. And then it's going to ask you to allow the download parallel. So I'm going to allow it. You go in your Downloads folder and you will see the status bar. Once it's downloaded, you open up Parallels. Once you see it pop up, you click Install. And it's going to ask you, do you want to download it from the internet? Since it's a trustworthy software, I'll just click Open. As you see, it's already verifying and installing Parallels. Another box will pop up, which is the Software Agreement License. And you have to accept it in order to run Parallel. On the left-hand side at the bottom, you have an optional thing you can do, which helps Parallels better by automatically sending usage statistics to Parallels. Right now, I'm going to uncheck that and then press Accept. You'll get another pop-up which asks you to put in your passcode, which is security so that nobody else is using your computer and putting software and stuff on your computer. Once you put your password in, press OK. Then it's going to ask you that it would like to access your files in your downloads folder. Just press OK. And the top left is going to ask you to allow notifications. Press Allow. Another pop-up screen comes up and it says System Extension Block. A program tried to load new system extensions signed by Parallels International. If you want to enable this extension, open up security and privacy and system preferences. So you open up system preferences, which allows you to make changes and allow Parallel to run on your computer. Again, it's going to ask you for your passcode for security to make sure this is you doing this then click allow to allow parallel to install and parallel will start installing this pop-up 
is Parallels Desktop Permissions. Just click Next. It says Parallel would like to access files in your desktop folder. Click a lot. Click OK. It's asking you to have access to your documents folders. Click OK. It's asking you for access for files in your downloads folder. Click OK. And then at the bottom right, click Finish. Now, once you finish, it's going to ask you to install Windows 10. So click Install Windows. And Windows 10 will start installing. I'm going to speed this up so that we can get through this process. You will see Windows 10 try to start up. Parallels asking for permission to use your camera. You can allow it or you don't have to allow it. Parallels asking you to use your microphone. You can allow it or don't have to allow it. As you see, it's installing all the files to get Windows 10 running on your Mac. I'm going to speed this process up so that we can get through it, the installation. Once it's finished, Windows, Windows is going to restart so that all the updates and the files for installation can go through. I'm going to speed this process up so we can get through the installation. Once the installation gets closer to finish, it will tell you that it needs several more minutes just to finish up all the rest of the updates. I'm going to speed this up so we can get through once your installation is complete, it will let you know, as you see right here, installation complete. Just click to continue. If you already have a parallel account, all you got to do is put in your email and passcode. And then press sign in. And now... You have Windows running on your Mac. Thank you for watching today's video. Be sure to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell. Also, leave a comment. Whether it's a question or you just want to comment on a post or something you want us to do a video on. A lot of the times, we answer those real fast unless we're working. So be sure to leave a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay updated what's going on with our channel. Thank you for watching Tech Teachers. Hopefully we see you in another video.